on the exam, everyone has to answer question one. Question one generally has some kind of document or several paragraphs along with a chart or a graph or data or something. I'm not going to pull up examples. You've got 12 or 15 examples already on the class page to look at, okay? You should spend about half of your time on question one. You have 90 minutes to take the exam, 40, 45 minutes spend on question one. You're going to have anywhere between four and six questions on it. They're, the first couple of questions are pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Please read the dadgum question correctly. If there's a graph or a chart, pay attention to what the axes say, or axi. Pay attention to it. All right? If it's talking about the value of a currency, it could be ascending or descending. Just because the line is falling does not mean that that dollar devalued. You have to pay attention to what the axis is saying. Um, with that being said, pay attention to whether it says using a diagram or with the aid of a diagram. With the aid of a diagram requires English language accompanying the chart or diagram. Okay? Show on a diagram or using a diagram. If it says using a diagram show, that's a freaking picture. Just draw it. With the help of a diagram. If with the help of a diagram explain, now that's different. That's a that's a Cambridge answer with a picture. Okay? When in doubt, draw a picture, it can't hurt you. Okay? If you're gonna reference a chart or a graph, label it, call it figure one. It'll make you look smarter than you are. All right, if you're going to draw a curve and draw a shift, label it figure one, and in your writing say, as shown in figure one, it's like you're writing a textbook, okay? You'll get almost like figurative points, which are almost as good as real points. So, when you're answering it, make sure that you answer the question. Let's skip down to question two, three, or four. These are the two-part questions where A is worth 8 points and B is worth 12 points. The A portion of the second question you're going to be answering has two parts. Four parts is knowledge and understanding. I'm sorry, four points. The other four points is your, what I write it down as, application. So the first part of the question simply is explaining that you know what the question is talking about. You're going to define the terminology. All right? After that, you're going to apply those terms to answering the actual question. The second question on the exam, the B portion of it, is going to have you make some kind of a judgment. And that's broken up into um, analysis and evaluation. So it's eight points for analysis and four points for evaluation. So they're going to ask, um, discuss um, uh, whether public awareness campaigns or discuss the effectiveness of public awareness campaigns and um, indirect taxes work for reduction of demerit good use and which is most successful. So first eight points would be analysis. Hey, here's how public awareness campaigns reduce demerit goods. Next four points. Here's how um, indirect taxes would reduce the American goods. Then at the bottom, it's, however, I think this would be most effective and why. Okay, so that's how the questions are broken up. Questions, comments, concerns about that. All right, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for showing up. Turn it off, turn it off. Thank you.